Oh, this is huevos, and chorizo. Oh man, that's good. It looks clean. It is beautiful over here. Oh, I love that sound. I can lay here. How do you call it? Arturo. Yes, you no quise empezar, me este. Muchas gracias. Una. Sí, que tú, una. Ah, pinche trómico de su puta madre. Porque así, así piensa un mexicano. O sea, ese güey ve por el polo, el polo gabacho, el polo americano. Entonces, ese culero. Good morning, guys. Actually, it's like afternoon. But we're getting ready to start the day out here. It's beautiful Mexico. It is hot. Super, super hot. I'm gonna try to find some food, try to find some things to do, some activities, see what there is to do here. And right across the street there is a restaurant that we're gonna go try, see what it's like. Let's see what kind of food they have here. It's a nice little spot, a little chill. Que el café está rico. Si, me da uno por favor. I brought out the coffee. Si, ya estoy listo. Me da los huevos revueltos con chorizo. Por favor. No, eso era todo. Si. Le dejo la carta. No, no. Quizá. Muchas gracias. So while we're waiting for the food, I'm going to take a quick look, show you guys around here a little bit. See how uh, beautiful it is. It's actually really quiet except for at night. So there's a lot of dogs barking. There are a ton of dogs. Oh look, there's another restaurant over there. Sell so burgers. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. I really dig the vibes here. I really dig the feel of Mexico. I really, really like this place here. Except that it's really hot. I don't like hot weather at all. At all. My body temperature runs hot and I sweat a lot. I'm gonna get hot really, really quick. All right, the food just got here, guys. Muchas gracias. Déjame ver esto de aquí. Le sirvo más cafecito. ¿Mande? Más cafecito. No, así está bien. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. So this is huevos, chorizo, and I guess these are like uh, plantains or banana. Looks like a little bit of cheese on it. Some beans, black beans. You got their salsa. And then you have your uh, tortillas, which is typical here. Mexicans eat everything with tortilla. Oh, and these are like handmade. You can smell it too, how fresh it is. They're thick. Alright, here it goes. <laughs> oh man, it tastes so good. It's so, so good. It is pretty damn good, guys. The chorizo, too. I'm gonna try this. I guess it's the um. Oiga, no sabe que es esto? Platano. Platano, it's platano, okay. Okay, gracias. Yeah, so it is um, a banana. Let's try this. I guess fried banana. Oh man, that's good. Wow. The flavor hits you as soon as you bite into it. Very, very good. Now we're gonna try the beans, see what the beans taste like. And you know, over there in uh, where I'm from in El Paso, I always judge a restaurant by how they make their beans and how it tastes because you can tell when it's just shit and a lot of restaurants they just they take shortcuts and they buy the beans uh, the refried beans that are ready in the bag you just add water to them so i always judge them by the beans and the rice that tells you how authentic the restaurant is i think i don't know maybe you guys have a different way of telling but i always judge them based off of the beans so these are black beans give it a taste These are definitely made here. And, oh man, that's so good. This plate is so, so good. I'm impressed with the whole thing. And obviously, I mean, uh, Mexico's known for 
The food, right? <clears throat> the food is really good. This didn't let down at all. But let's add some salsa. We're gonna taste a little piece of it to see how spicy it is, because I love, 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 love spicy. Let's try it. It has really good flavor. It's just not spicy. We're gonna try this green one. This is probably like a guacamole type of uh, salsa. But, man, that, that red one was has really good flavor. I just wish it was more spicy. Shit. All right. That green one tastes good too. It's just not spicy. So, we're gonna add it to everything, actually. <laughs> it had a really, really, really good flavor. Oh yeah, we're gonna enjoy this meal here, guys. And then, uh, we're gonna go back to the room and get everything ready I have no plan at all I have not looked up to see looked up on the um, internet what there is to do here I don't know much about this place but we're gonna find some things to do right now I'm getting into an uber buenas tardes si sí. su nombre Guillermo Medina Guillermo mucho gusto Guillermo we're gonna go get a rental. I need a rental. I thought that uh, I really wanted to do this all by foot, but all the shit that I'm carrying just does not make it possible. Looks like some clouds are coming out. Oh, look at that tree with coconuts in it. Wow. All right, so. According to this guy, we're here already. Now I just got, oh, it is right here. So let's see what kind of a vehicle we get. I'm not trying to get anything fancy, just something cheap, just to move around. There's no reason to, uh, to spend a lot of money when you can use that money for something else. ¿Dónde se rentan los carros? No ni se rentan los carros. Allá adentro. Muchas gracias. So, let's check this out. Let's see if it's hassle free too. So, I did get a car guys. And I also got a free mango. She was really nice and kind to give me a mango. Está grandísimo. grandísimo. So I'm checking out the car right now, make sure that there's no dance, so when I return it, they don't charge me for it. Alright guys, so we got our rental for 33 bucks a day. Cannot beat that at all. Oh, and I forgot to say, shout out to this lady. She was super nice and uh, she gave me this mango. Look at the size of this thing. It's like the size of my head. It's a huge mango. I'm sure it's all natural too because they grow and they grow it here. They don't probably use all the shit that we use over there. I'm excited to eat this mango. I love mangoes, my favorite fruit. But yeah, I'm excited to eat this. So thank you, lady, for this mango. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we just arrived to our destination. I am in a... I don't know if it's a town or what is it. It's called Progreso. It's a... Uh, a little beach area it's uh humid over here too not as hot i guess because we're closer to the water but it feels good just happy to be here to experience this let's see some restaurant right here nice little restaurant hey this is a really nice area i like it it looks clean. It looks clean and uh, like they keep up with it. Look, check it all out. The 
sand. You got these little uh, tables, I guess, that you can probably reserve, hang out at, bring you the chairs maybe. I don't know, he's packing the stuff, so maybe it's uh, closing time over here. Check this out. It is beautiful over here. Beautiful. Check out the water. Let's continue to walk. See what we see, see what we find. Oh, I love that sound. I can lay here and go to sleep and just relax. Man, do I appreciate this. Look, there's a bridge that takes you. I don't know where it takes you, to be honest. I did not look it up, but it seems to stretch out pretty far. I can't imagine what Cancun or Tulum is like. They say it's very touristic. And those are the places I do not want to be at. Check out this dog. He's having the time of his life. He enjoyed it. That boy or girl. Oh yeah. He got balls, so it's a boy. He uh, was rolling around and joined the sand here. Look at this. How awesome. I haven't seen anything like that before. Guys, I'm really amazed by how beautiful this is over here. I really can't uh, comprehend or grasp the uh, it feels like it's not real right now because this is just so beautiful my whole experience so far on day one has been very very awesome i got a free mango that lady was super nice man <laughs> this is so beautiful <laughs> it's so beautiful check it out It feels so good. It's fresh. <laughs> hey, Sam. Yeah. Provecho la cerveza. Ya te iba a decir que un video para conseguir un sugar así como ese. ¿Qué es lo que busca? Un video. Ah, no te creas. ¿Qué Sí, estoy grabando para YouTube. No, 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 gracias. Muchas gracias. No, no, no. Muchas gracias. No, sí, estoy grabando para YouTube y uh, para que la gente conozca, porque yo no soy de aquí. ¿De dónde eres? De los Estados Unidos. Ahí está, tú. Ahí, ahí platico ustedes. <ríe> no, sí, vengo de visita a conocer, pero también eres? para que la gente de, de Texas. ¿Qué parte? De El Paso. Paso. La frontera, ahí está Ciudad Juárez. Ah, yo soy de Houston. ¿Y qué te trajo por acá? Baby. Nomás para visitar. Ah, no mames, acá está chingo en otros lugares, güey. Yeah, like 20 minutes from here. Uh -huh. Nah, 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 20, like 20 minutes from here. Que yo me ahorita, wey, que, que, que chingó los dinosaurios, wey. That way. Yeah, like, like 15 minutes from here. Si tú subes un drone, uh -huh. se mira así la, donde que esto impactó. Si, sí, eso es lo que traje. Traje un drone. Ah, la verga, voy a subir allá. Es hasta allá. No, pues todavía voy a estar aquí por una semana, so mañana regreso. No, por razón tuve que venir aquí. ¿Dónde llegaste? Ayer. ¿Y dónde vas? Ah, voy a estar aquí una semana y López de aquí me voy a Campeche. Pues si, mira, pues si no tengo dónde quedarte, pues llega ahí a mi casa, tengo el verquita, tengo todo. Miren, lo tiene todo. Se llama por ser de las, las Américas donde vienen los cachés, los, oh. los riquillos. Ok. Chingo de gabachos. Oye. ¿Cómo te llamas? Arturo. Sí, ¿Viste? Mira. Eduardo. Se Eduardo. Canción, Mucho gusto, Eduardo. Soy mexicano. Te voy a una cosa, yo soy mexicano. Y okay. todo el mundo sí. lo tenía por racista, eh, ¿no? Eh, sí, eh, ajá, esa, esa, esa es lo que iba. 100% mexicano, yo soy 100% mexicano. 
Y, de, y yo voy a llegar el Trump y el Trump, esto, el Trump, el otro. Y yo decía, ah, pinche Trump, hijo de su puta madre. Porque así, así piso un mexicano, hijo de su puta madre. Pero te pones una cosa, analizando lo que piensa el pinche Trump, el Trump es, ana, es nacionalista. Ajá. O sea, ese güey ve por el pueblo, el pueblo gabacho, sí. el pueblo americano. Ajá. Entonces, ese culero, o sea, no es tan malo como uno cree. A veces la. la, la las noticias o la política te dicen el biche Obama y el Biden, la sí. chingada. Y nada más, para, nada más, nada más te, te pone lo, 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 lo chingón, ¿no? Sí, ajá. Pero, y enseñan todo pero, lo feo pero, de Trump. Ajá, pero el Trump, él ve por su país. Sí. O sea, es la parte que, que, que uno como mexicano dice, ah, pinche Trump es un culero. Ajá. Pinche Trump es un... Pero no, no, el Trump simplemente él, él nada más es ve por su país. Sí. Y, y si tú puedes... Tú, yo, yo pues investigar un poquito lo que ha hecho Trump, lo que hizo Biden y lo que hizo Obama. Y Obama, Obama es más, más culero eh, que, que el Trump. Se reportó okay. más gente. Ajá, que... es, exactamente, exactamente. Obama es más culero. Ajá. Obama es culero. El Biden también es más culero. Entonces, Ajá. te puedes analizar, pero tío, todo, 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 está, todo, todo está en cuanto, en cuanto tú, tú, tú ves, tú, tú cheques wow. y me sigues. ¿No quise empezar? Uh, no, este... Muchas gracias. Una. Eh, no sé, una. Hola, ¿Qué una foto? Agradezco mucho, ¿no? Pero ahora ya estoy tratando de hacer a YouTube para que vea la gente qué tan bonito es. Y mire, como conocer gente como usted, nomás está caminando, ¿verdad? Y ustedes salud, bien, bien amables y, y diciendo hola y todo eso y ofreciendo cerveza. Eso es algo bien bonito, de estilo Pero, mexicano. Sí, no, sí. En sí YouTube, wey, ah, la madre, güey. Sí, Apuesta bien un teléfono y cuando quieras venir pa, para acá, para este mismo no, lugar. Wey, me gusta mucho aquí que voy a seguir que viniendo. Está en my house. I can take you to Tulum, Holbox, güey, Holbox. Ay, ahorita va a venir una madre, güey, que te acercas a, a la orilla del mar. Ajá. Te metes y son como luces, güey, azules. Como las luces neón. Yeah. Nada, es, es un pescadito. <risa> pero tú lo tocas y se prende, güey. Oh, shit. Ya. Yeah. Sí, mire, sí, deje... A ver, que yo tengo... Déjelo, punto. Hi, guys, I'm back. I met an interesting guy. Two guys, actually. The guys I was talking to. Got the, they told me about a lot of things to see around here and some things they actually could not say. But, um, I mean, I could not record. And very interesting. So he uh, gave me his number and he wants to show me around. He said that all, there's some uh, good content to get around here that people usually cannot get into. So we'll see, we'll see. I got a good vibe off of him and um, I think it will, it'll be good. It'll be good. But yeah, check this out. We're still walking around here. The sun's going down. It got a little bit more windy, but it still feels fresh though. Let's go into this uh, store over here. They got little shops. Got the bathrooms. You got a Cuban restaurant. Got the people just sitting there, enjoying their time. Beautiful views. So yeah, let's walk in here and get uh, something to drink. Gracias. Con permiso. No, no, está bien. Buenas tardes. Let's get the water. A big old bottle. It's at 17, 17 pesos, 18 pesos, which is almost a dollar for this size water. But I saw this candy that I really, really like. That reminds me when I was a kid. And I want one. These right here. Pulparindos. It's a tamarindo and it's so, so good. Actually, I'm gonna take two because I love tamarindo. Check this out, guys. This is what the uh, tamarindo looks like. I can't explain what it tastes like. It's something different. 
Um, sometimes it's spicy, which I really, really like. But it has a really good flavor. And I'm actually, you know what I have not tried was a, a water, a tamarindo water. That's what I really want to try. I don't like, uh, yeah, I don't like sweets, but these, they're dangerous and they're so good. I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys, for day one. Unless something else happens. I'm running low on ba battery, but I brought another one. But thank you guys for watching the whole thing. If you did, I appreciate you. Um, this has been a really awesome experience for day one. I want everybody to be able to experience it or do what's on your bucket list or <clears throat> to experience life yourself the way you want to. So thank you guys for being here. Hope you continue to follow me and uh, see all the, um, the adventures I go on. And I appreciate your support. I love you guys and I'm thankful for you guys, okay? See you guys soon.